Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use your Wii Remote as a controller for your PC. So if you don't have Xbox controllers or PC controllers or PS4 controllers lying around, then you can maybe use Wii Remotes instead. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you need to install um, the Wii Remote as a Bluetooth device on your PC. First go into your start uh, and then search control panel. And then open the control panel. Then click add a device. Once that's done, you will see this screen. So press one and two on your Wii remote simultaneously. And on your PC, eventually the Wii remote will pop up right here as input device. It'll either show up as input device or as Nintendo RVL CMT01. So it's going to tell you to input a passcode. Just click next without inputting anything. So as you can see, it says installing Nintendo RVL CMT01. And let's just wait for it to finish the installation. So this might take a little bit of time, but since I already have it installed as a um, device on my computer, we can move on to the next step. The next step is to connect the Wii Remote to the PC and let the Wii Remote know that it's connected to the PC. To do this, you're going to need to download a separate software called Dolphin. Dolphin is essentially a Wii Remote, uh, a Wii or GameCube emulator, so we're going to be able to connect our Wii Remote to this. Click controllers. Oh, look, mine has already uh, connected. But if you guys have not connected yet, click controllers. And then over here in Wii Remote, it, it might say emulated Wii Remote, but you select real Wii Remote. Press 1 and 2 simultaneously here, and then click refresh immediately after. So just, you know, you press those two together, and then click refresh. Oh, seems like it connected me as player 2. Hmm. That's weird. Oh well. I'm sure I can show you guys while it having uh, player two itself. Anyway, the next step is to download GlovePie. So what is GlovePie? GlovePie is this software which lets you code input for your Wii Remote, which is going to make it able to be used as a sort of controller for your PC. So this is GlovePie, and over here, what you do is you essentially type your code in and then it can be used as a controller. For example, if I put key dot mm, down, which is our down arrow on the keyboard D-pad, equals to Wiimote dot down, then click run, now when I press the down button on my Wiimote, it's going to bring it down. So as you guys can see over here, the cursor um, where it's standing, if I press the down button, oh wait, huh. hmm. maybe it doesn't go further than that. There we go. So it doesn't go further. So um, yeah. If we do key dot up, key dot up equals to remote dot up, key dot left equals to remote dot left, and key dot right is equal to remote dot right, then what we've made here is a fully functioning d-pad that can be controlled with our Wii remote so uh, look on the screen as you can see um, if I press left it'll bring the cursor to the left if I press right it'll bring the cursor to the right if I press up it'll bring it up and if I press down it'll bring it down and just like this you can code um, any button 
for example, I can code key dot left key dot mouse. There has to be something about mouse. I think it's um. Where is it? It's um. Right shift, right bracket, right windows. So there are many different kinds of um, buttons on your keyboard that you can use. Um, for example, I can put uh, this thing. I can put enter as Wiimote.a, for example. Then, in this case, we've got a fully functioning D-pad. You can even make a, a mouse with this. And this is going to be extremely beneficial. Now, you might be wondering... This is just a keyboard. What can I actually use it for? Well, let me show you guys something. I have made a Minecraft um, thing. Actually, it's not me who's made this. This was made by Marinos35. So it may look super complicated. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this, get this uh, script. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of stuff here. This was essentially a mouse control script where you could use your nunchuck here to control the, the cursor on the screen. So as you guys can see, my nunchuck is actually controlling the cursor on my screen. You guys can see that. And then A is going to be left the left mouse button. So, oh wait, not A. I changed it to C. And then you, you can do everything. So this is basically the perfect thing that you can do if you want to play games on your uh, on your PC using a Wii remote so I have mapped a lot of these buttons right here um, like this and um, yeah so with this what I can do now is I can actually play Minecraft with my Wii remote so let me show you guys real quick so I'm in the Minecraft launcher and click play and give it a minute to load now obviously all of this can be uh, emulated with the with the Wiimote so I can just go into here into the Minecraft launcher and uh, do this here so you guys can see it's working like a charm oh look it says uh, Wiimote 1 even though it's actually Wiimote 2 because um, I think at the top or somewhere I put put the LED on. You can also, you know, change the different LEDs that are on. You can put some of them on, some of them off. So yeah, let's give it a minute to load uh, Minecraft. In the meantime, I'm going to practice using this as a as a real mouse. And this works really well. So as you guys can see, this is uh, Minecraft is loading right here. So let's just wait for uh, this to load. I wonder why it's taking so long. Does it usually take this long? I don't know. Oh look, there we go, now it's progressing. Any day now, <laughs> I guess. There we go, finally. So now that this is done, what you can do is... So first of all, you need to set up everything. So go into your um, settings. Go into controls and then click mouse settings. This part is really important if you're going to play Minecraft with a Wii remote. Set your sensitivity accordingly. Trust me, a high sensitivity will be you know, what you're going to need. And then as you guys can see, raw input. Make sure that that is off. So you have to make sure raw input needs to be off if you want the Wii Remote to work. Then over here, you obviously set all your buttons. I think I'm going to do B here. Left is that. Right is that. Backwards is here. And forwards is here. Attack. Right. I think this is already done. And then hotbar slot 1 is that. Wait. What is that? Oh, well. 
Okay. Now we can create a new world. Let's just create one world really quickly. Then I can show you guys that I will be able to use this to play Minecraft perfectly fine. I hope all the other buttons are set correctly. Let's see. This will obviously take a little bit of time to load. I wonder if there's a way to make this loading screen optional, because it's kind of annoying. By the way, guys, I'm really sorry. My computer is a little bit slow. Um, it's actually pretty old. I think I've had this computer since since 2014. That was like six years ago. But then again, it's a really good computer. It's, it just lags a little bit. So at this point, it's going to start, um, you know, lagging. But it always lags at the start. But in the end, it's going to become a little bit smoother. Let's see if... The looking around works all right this seems to work pretty pretty well let's just wait for it to regain its you know its natural uh, fps but this happens all the time though it's nothing it's nothing too unexpected i guess So right now I'm actually using my um, my actual mouse. So yeah, now I'm gonna move on to the Wii remote. As you can see, the looking around works well, uh, ap apart from the lag. And um, so what this means is that you're gonna have to use the Wii remote. You might want to use the Wii remote in your in your left hand, but I think that I'm going to go with the nunchuck in the left hand since I'm more used to this. But other than that, it does work. So don't, uh, like, without paying much attention to the lag, this thing actually works. Like, you can do everything you would do in normal Minecraft. You can mine, you can move, you can look around. Trust me, guys, this works better when I'm not recording. But I'm sure for you guys it's going to be better. I mean, this is... I think this is a problem with the Minecraft uh, and all that. Not with the uh, Wii Remote. But other than that, I think that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.